Hello everyone, welcome to my class. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the network layer services. So we all know that the network layer uh, is uh, for is from network oriented layers. So from the OSI reference model or TCP IP protocol suit, we know that the basic uh, physical data link and the network layer, all three layers are call it as a network oriented layers. So already we have discussed about the physical layer, uh, data link layer, and now we are going to start with a uh, network layer. So in this, the first uh, lecture, we are going to see about the network layer services. We all know that the network layer, the main responsibility is moving the packets from one network to the another network via the multiple networks. It means that which is going to moving the packets, packets from one device to the another device, across the multiple networks whereas in data link layer we know that it is the responsibility for moving the data moving the frames from one node to the next node only but whereas in this network layer it will be taking the responsibility from one network to the source network to the destination network so it has to pass via the multiple networks so here the main important concept is the routing is a very important concept it is not only a routing as well as it has to identify the shortest path between the source network to the destination network so that every networking devices based on this routing protocol which can able to forward the packets towards to the destination in a shortest way that is very important and the next important point is that the service is that it has to do a packetizing it means that it has to provide the services to the upper layers as like a transport layer so this means that the transport layer which is going to give an information so that means that the segmenting segmentation and reassembly which is going to assign some sequence numbers also so it means that the packetizing is also a very important concept here now let us get into that so now in this diagram you you can see that the how the data are flows from one source station to the destination station it means that from the source the data which is going to comes from the application layer and it will reach us to the transport layer so the transport layer which is taking the responsibility to identify the process to process communication based on that which is going to assign a sequence number for each and every package so that information which is moved into a network layer now the network layers the main responsibility to find the startup path between the source network to the destination network so what it has to do whatever the information it comes from the network transport layer which has to encapsulate and it is going to add the payload fields and then which is going to move the data into a data link layer this is how the process which is going to take in care from the source network to the destination network in this diagram itself you can easily understood that how it is going to flow from source network to the destination network next in this diagram how the communication at the network layer which is going to happen because which has to be taken care that network layer protocol data has to be taken care and it has to see by the all the networking devices for example the host h1 we consider that a host h1 from that whatever the data it comes from the network layer it will move on to the data link and then physical via the transmission media which is going to move to the we are considering at a network layer point of view we don't bother about the data link layer point it means that node to node so from your host to the next networking devices network end device is a it may be a router so in this router the data will comes to a physical then the data link and it will goes to a network layer so the network layer will identify that will see that what is the destination network so based on that routing algorithm that packets are going to be forwarded here suppose if it doesn't know that the exact destination based on that routing algorithm ip best here for delivery it may send a multiple copies to the other routers also so at the same time at the receiver station may get receive the duplicate packets so that duplicate packets may get discarded and in between if some of the packets may be circulated it may be a circulated inside the network which may create a lot of 
traffic as well as a lot of uh, uh, congestion may occur so that has to be taken care by the routing protocol when we discuss the routing protocol we will be discussing that what is the lifetime of each and every packet that also we will be discussing it so here from the router R2 then the router R1 will go the same way the router R4 also will go so every router will check for the network layer and then based on the routing algorithm based on the destination address which is going to forward the packets to the towards to the host H2 this is how the communications which is going to taken care at the network layer now as I said the very important responsibility of this network layer is moving the packets from the source network to the destination network across the multiple networks so the first and foremost duty of this network layer is to do a packetizing the information so whatever the information which comes from that the transport layer which has to be encapsulated with the payload fields so based on this the network layer protocol it will have its own the error control as well as the flow control and then which is having in a routing protocol so based on the routing protocol it may create the routing protocol will will generate some of the payloads that payloads also will be added along with your original information whatever it comes from the transport layer that means that the data from the upper layer along with that which is going to carry the payload from the source to the destination without any modification whereas if you see that the data link layer we can easily witness that when it moves from one node to the another node there the labels are the links address link address is going to change every node whereas here it is not going to change the source and the destination address it does it not it doesn't allow to change any of the modification so the in between the networking devices can able to see that data and based on the destination network which is going to forward the packets towards to the destination network based on the what routing algorithm which is going to use so carry the payload from source to the destination without any modification and which is responsible for delivery of the packets from a sender to the receiver without changing or using the contents across the multiple network and the next important responsibility as we said once it identify that the shortest path between the source network to the destination network then it has to forward the packets so the first it has to identify the routing it has to find the shortest route once it find the route the same route the packets all the packets has to be forwarded towards to the destination so the routing and forwarding is a very important function in the network layer so both this routing as well as the forwarding which is directly related to each other that we will be seeing it in that how the packet switching has been used in that network layer in the next video lecture now the forwarding process this you consider as in this is an a router so the router which is going to have a four ports now we consider that it will have a multiple ports but we consider in this diagram there are four ports which is one two three and four now the forwarding tables which is going to hold by the every router which is going to maintain a routing table in this routing table which will have the forwarding value suppose the packet which comes from that input port that we call it as an ingress port and then rest of all other ports we call it as an outgress port so except that input port which has to map all that output ports and with that addresses so if that particular destination network so what port it has to be forwarded so that will be dynamically calculated by the routing algorithm which has been used in the network layer so the data which is coming here it means that the forwarding table which is going to check for what is that forwarding value say for here example it is in a a b c d likewise it has given the b which is coming along with some data then b may be output interface where it has to forward the output interface is two means then immediately that same information which is forwarded to the port 2 if you look at if you recap that in the data link layer 
the link address every link once it reaches to that particular node then immediately when it leaves that packet leaves that frame that link address which is going to change for each and every node when it leaves it is going to change the value whereas here it doesn't change any other modification here so it means that whatever the address which is going to have a b with the data the same thing which is going to be simply which is going to forward the packets towards to the destination network alone this is how the forwarding process which is, which is going to take care so let me recap that we know that the network layer is a network oriented layers network oriented as well as application oriented layers in between the transport layer is a liaison between the network oriented layers as well as the application oriented layers so this is a network layer uh, this network layer will do the responsible for moving the packets from the source network to the destination network across the multiple networks it may cross either it may be a one network or it may cross a multiple networks so that is a basic prime duty so for that it has to what it has to do is it has to get the data from the upper layer and the whatever the payload it comes the same payload which has to be encapsulated along with that the routing protocol whatever the functions which is going to perform by the network layer that payloads will be added along with that information that will be calculated the shortest path and that that thing is going to be forwarded towards to the destination without any changing so for that the prime duty is an packetizing is a primary functions and then routing and forwarding is a next very important functions and then finally we have seen for every router how the forwarding process which has to be taken care when it comes it does it, it will never change the format it will never change any of the payloads in that uh, packet whatever it is going to receive this is how the network layer functions which is performing it i hope you understand this concept very clearly if you have any doubts you please drop it in the comment line i am happy to respond to your question thank you for watching my class if you don't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a great day